Hey, welcome to Try Trying Harder. Today we're gonna unbox some new Lego minifigs. This is a licensed product that came out at the beginning of September. So I just managed to grab these at the Lego store. As with the other new boxed sets of Lego minifigs, you can scan the little QR code on the bottom and someone graciously on the internet has gone through and mapped QR code numbers to minifigs. So check that out and it's less of a mystery and you are guaranteed to not get duplicates. This came in super handy because at the Lego store there was a ton of the same Lego minifigs so I would have been pretty, let's just say unhappy I got the duplicate minifigs. This is a really cool set as you can see. It is Dungeons and Dragons, a 12 character set per usual, five and up. I will show off the included character sheet so you can see what all 12 look like and Go pick up your own. Enough chit chat. Let's see what these three are. Okay, box number one. This is gonna be 6755. That's the last four digits of this little QR code scan, which should be this little dragon guy. I thought he'd be pretty interesting and unique. So I grabbed him, or theoretically. This hasn't proven me wrong yet. Dragon guy. Let's do a quick glance over this. Look at all 12 characters since they aren't all on the box. There's your top row. I don't know Dungeons and Dragons enough. Getting that guy to uh, call out names or anything. But they have some pretty unique mini figs. I always like anything that's kind of dark like that. Little guitar dude. I feel like I'm gonna try and get this one. Definitely this guy, that's awesome. That's pretty cool, Witch's Cauldron. So there's the 12. I guess we'll have to use these instructions later, build that staff. Cool, let's start getting cracking. We'll go bottom up. He's got a suit of armor, so there's some cool details on his legs. Throw a torso on him, a little amulet, I think. Potion, Ooh, and he's got some detail for his armor on his arms, very cool. And then there's more heavy duty armor on top. What else we got, and then the head. Very cool Lego head. Like I said, this is one of the driving factors on why I wanted to get this one. Give him some horns. Get in your hole, there we go. Looks like it came with an extra horn. Always good to get extra tiny parts. Cool. Now, his other pieces. Got a shield. Shield of the dragons. I don't know what he sounds like. And then this really cool looking staff. This is like an opalized top. Gonna add some gold to the bottom of it. Slide the staff on there. This is pretty neat. A little mace on the bottom. A little dangly. And that tops it off. Couple extra pieces, get it in his hand so he can club people, mace them, whatever. I don't know. You feel cool, guy? You look cool. And just a st oh, I thought it was standard. Look at that. It wasn't even paying attention. So he's got a little rock, kind of cobblestone base, maybe. I like it. I get tired of just having the basic black ones. So they've done good with the space one and this one, giving you something unique. So there's a close up of him. Whoever he is, maybe I'm supposed to know. You can tell me. Awesome. Box number two. This is supposed to be 6762 when I scanned it. That feller is not on here, but he is definitely cool. Let me show you what he looks like. He is some kind of sorcerer dude. He does have some extra on here. It's this guy. It's like, whoa, don't get hit in the eye. I'll shoot your eye out. Let's get building on him. Looks like he has kind of, let's, I don't know, a gown, a robe. This guy should be easy peasy. Snip, snip, snap, snap. All right, he's got some tattoos on the backs of his head. And there's that grim looking bad guy. He's got chest out holding, what is this? Is it just some red skull? Let's see, just for fun. He dresses up for Halloween like this. Whoa, all transparent. All right, enough, okay. Hold your red head. What are they talking about poking your eye out with? Doesn't look like anything fires. Hmm, interesting. Let's give him his base. There's your close up. I like his fire hand. Definitely like the vibe he's putting out. Very menacing vibe. Doesn't articulate. And definitely like the red transparent skull. Very happy. Wait, wait a tick. Didn't even notice this. Well, I'll be. This makes him a lot cooler. This is the first one that I've had that has two cape pieces. I think. Yeah, that makes him way more menacing. All right, take two. I need to pay attention. Evil bad guy cape. All right, that's a cool addition. And he flies. Woo! See you, Superman. I don't know. Bizarro? 
whatever bad guy Superman is. Next, final box, 67.59, this crazy looking guy. I couldn't help but buy something so unique. Hey, look at this, maybe I won't forget this time. All right, just like the other guy. This one apparently hovers. It, they, them, they're hovering. I think we can put this on here. Let's go ahead and take care of this. Ooh, that's a cool one. Very cool cape. You know what Edna says about capes. It looks like this is the head, nondescript. That's freaky. Put on their mask. Ooh, kind of rubbery. And what are we doing with this? Just got some extra pieces. There's two of these if you want, but he only needs one. Hold on to your whatever this is, tablet. Extras, get you on your base, because it's all about the base. Perfect. There's your close up. Very cool. Glad I found this one. Just very unique in my opinion. Not a ton of detail, but I mean, look at this crazy headdress. That on its own is pretty cool and having some fancier cape going. All right, well, here's that close up. These are awesome. Very much a few of the top characters I wanted to get. I think my favorite out of this set is this Mamma Jamma right here. Even though everyone else has some cool things going on, I'll probably be grabbing a few more of them. Not getting the whole set. Some of them just don't resonate with me. But not knowing a ton about Dungeons & Dragons, I think LEGO did pretty good here. Very diverse, fun, unique. Thanks for watching. What do you think of this set? Are you a big Dungeons & Dragons fan? Are you big enough to get LEGO licensed minifigures that are somewhat overpriced? I like them. I think they did good. Good job, LEGO. With that said, please like, comment, throw some words in there. Go ahead and subscribe. And I don't know, I'm pretty happy with all this, so I guess what I have to say is when it comes to me building Lego minifigs for you, I'll uh, pay more attention to including all the little pieces, especially capes, and I'll try trying harder.